in what are currently illegal gatherings. So absolutely right. This comes back to the point that I made earlier on. Many of the organisers behind this protest, these protests are not engaging with the police. Police forces around the country have worked incredibly hard over the last 10 and 11 weeks to get that message out there by engaging within their communities, and that is something that they will continue to do. Natalie Elphick. Thank you, Madam Deputy Speaker. Um, given the risk that these protests may cause a second wave of this virus and the disgraceful violence and destruction that we have seen, does the Home Secretary agree that it's time to give the police greater powers to control demonstrations and marches, where police commanders believe there is serious risk to public health, public order and to property? This weekend has shown, Madam Deputy Speaker, that these protests are a threat to public health. And on those grounds alone, our police officers are working night and day across the country to reiterate that point and communicate that message. My final comment is, is that the operational independence of chief constables is recognised in law. And of course, the 2011 Act gives police and crime commissioners responsibility for policing within their forces. And it's important that they reiterate many of these important and essential messages. Thank you, and I thank the honourable members who took part in the second half of that statement for being swift, and therefore we were able, within just over an hour, to allow everybody who wanted